Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Quality Reactions, where, yes, of course, we're gonna do another quality reaction. My name is Jenna, I'm an actor, a Twitch streamer, a music enthusiast, and of course, a professional shower singer. And today on the channel, we're gonna be listening to more of Putri Ariani. This time, her cover of I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For by U2 on the AGT Qualifiers 2023. Now, I have heard this song by U2 before, so I'm excited to see what Putri does with it, especially because I loved her audition for AGT. So I cannot wait to hear more come out of her vocal box. So without further ado, let's do this. I have the to be with you, only to be with you, but I still haven't found what I'm looking I believe in Okay, I have to stop because that was like the most admiring look from Simon. <laughs> Just like, ah, so refreshing. Um, I already love the beginning. It was, I did not expect her not, I did not expect it to be a cappella right off the bat, which was, I love a cappella stuff. I love, 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 love it. So, gorgeous i also think like for me i felt nervous listening to her because i was like oh my god singing a cappella like with no instrument behind you right when you're starting your performance would be so nerve-wracking because you have nothing to mask any nerves that might be heard in your voice or if you accidentally slip off pitch it's so scary um so that was a that was unexpected and and daring and I loved it I also love that it it already feels like her own thing it already feels like her own song and I was totally um I haven't listened to the original in a long time and I, I didn't want to because I, I like to go in fresh if I can to things but um it already sounded different to me like it was more uh hers this version. So I'm really into it. So I'm very excited. Let's let's go back. I believe in the kingdom come then all the colors will bleed into one bleed into one but yeah I'm still running. You broke the bonds and you lose a chance. Carry the cross. I'm my shame. Oh, my shame. You know. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. But I still haven't found. 
That was so sweet. <laughs> I loved it. It was so sweet. Um, she just seems very um, like a sweet young woman, very like humble and grounded, and 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 I just love that she's doing so well on the show. I don't watch it live, so I'm glad she made it to the qualifiers. I'm not really sure what the levels of the show are, but I'm not surprised because I loved her audition, and obviously it was a golden buzzer audition uh i love this version this is very felt very like raw and stripped down with just a little bit of piano and a lot of acapella and it really let her voice shine i mean it always shines she has such a great tone and really good control even if nerves do get in there i don't know like i could not do that like It's weird because I'm a performer, but there are certain things that you can, I, for me personally, there are certain things that are easier to do in front of people than others. And some, for some people that's music, right? They're really good at doing that. Obviously they follow that path and then they make it. <laughs> but I find like performing anything, um, especially where I have to play something, very nerve wracking. So it, I feel the nerves for people. Like I feel like I take on that energy and, uh, I'm just like always amazed when people can be in front of such a large crowd doing something like this, especially when obviously she's been performing for a long time and she's incredible, um, which helps <laughs> the nerves a little bit, I'm sure, because you know that you've got that, um, you've got that ability behind you. But but yeah, I do, I always get nervous because I do think like for me personally, I could tell how nervous I would be. So I'm always like, oh, do a, I hope you do a good job. But she was, uh, she was amazing. And I love where she chose to hold back a little bit and where she chose to really let it loose. And I love the sustained note at the end. That was gorgeous. I also just love like the setup that they chose, like the simple spotlight on her on this like white baby grand, or maybe it's a full grand. Um, it didn't look that hard at the piano, but <laughs> this like it's probably a full grand. It's AGT, but um, on this like white piano, gorgeous. And I don't know if you guys have like looked into the lyrics of the song, uh, if you guys have heard this song by YouTube before, but I really like the lyrics of the song as well. I do think they have more to do with like a spiritual journey, but I do think it can be, um, it's, I do think it can be universal in whatever kind of like love, spiritual journey you're on. Like I've climbed the highest mountains. I've run through the fields only to be with you. I have run, I have crawled, I've scaled these city walls only to be with you, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for. So I really like the, the, the lyrics behind the song. It feels like a message of, um, I don't know. It's, a, it's about the search, you know, the person never really gets what they want. Even, even though she didn't do the whole song, um, it's just, it continues throughout the song ending with, I still haven't, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for. So it is, it's about a person who's on the search and still hasn't found what they're looking for, regardless of, uh, getting a lot of good things that they want and uh i think that is kind of a universal feeling as well it's not always you're not always discovering what you want at the end of something it does always feel a bit of like it's about learning to enjoy the journey which 
as an artist is like you hear it so often you know it's not about the destination it's not about getting there at the end it's like you have to enjoy the journey on where you're going because you might never make the destination or you might get to where you think the destination is and really that's not what you wanted to begin with it all everything shifts and shifts and changes so it is that you have to enjoy the journey and you have to enjoy the search that is what life is enjoying the journey rarely about the destination unfortunately um but yeah so i like the message of the song as well and i thought she did a beautiful rendition of it gorgeous i don't know i i don't know what the uh result is because i haven't watched the rest of the video yet but uh i'm gonna watch it after this uh but i just wanted to react to her performance her the art of her and her song and her arrangement so yeah that was so fun. I, I hope to hear more from Putri Ariani. Obviously, she is an incredibly talented 17-year-old woman who is like blowing the minds of everybody right now. And I wish her luck in the rest of her AGT journey. Can't wait to see where it goes. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being here. If you like this reaction, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button in case you want to know when more is coming your way and as always if you're into gaming i will link my twitch in the info section below but that's it for today guys so until next time peace